In this tutorial, we'll look at how to install the new BBC update. This update contains muted brass, a new instrument for Pro, additional brass and woodwind legatos, as well as updated legato programming to the string section patches. The first thing you'll need to do is head over to the Spitfire Audio app, where you'll see an update is indicated. Before updating, you should go over to your settings and the default content path to check that the correct install location for your BBC library is selected. You can change this by selecting the box and then navigating to the correct location. Additionally, if you use a custom VST location, you should make sure this is selected here. Once you're happy with your install paths, head over to My Products, select the BBC Symphony Orchestra artwork, where you'll be taken to the BBC page that contains the new update as well as your current installation. Select Install to install the update and double check the install location is correct. If it is, select Download and the library will begin to authorise. Pro users should be aware that the brass content in this update is a 35GB download and may take some time depending on your internet connection. Whilst the brass is still downloading, you can of course return to My Products and download the remainder of the library. Make sure that you continue to install the rest of the library to the same download location. If you do not install part of the library to the same location, you might incur an error. When the download is finished, you'll be able to open the plugin in your DAW. The plugin should now show version 1.2.0 in the bottom right corner and Pro should have the Chimpasso instrument available in the brass section. If you use BBC Symphony Orchestra on a second device, you should use an additional hard drive. To install the update on the second hard drive, you can do so in the app by going to the BBC Symphony Orchestra artwork, going down to the instrument list, and then selecting Reset from the cog menu. Once you've selected Reset, you'll be presented with two options, and here you should select Latest Update. Once latest update is selected, the app will now update that part of the library and indicate an install is available. You should now reset each part of the library to the latest update. This will mean that you'll download both the patches and presets folders, as well as the sample content. If you do have a slow internet connection, it may be quicker for you to copy the folder over to your second hard drive and carry out a repair instead. Details can be found in the description. When the install is ready, as before, select Install. Make sure your content location is correct and you can change this by clicking on the folder, then select Download. Here are some common errors that occur when updating. If your plugin indicates Error 2 when you open it in your DAW, this means the plugin is not up to date. To fix this, you should close your digital audio workstation, go over to the Spitfire Audio app, navigate down to the plugin and select Repair. If that's not available, it might be in your COG menu. Select the COG and then select Repair. Make sure that the repair location is correct for the BBC Symphony Orchestra folder. If the install location is not correct, you can change this by selecting the folder. Once you're ready, select Repair, and the library will go to the Downloading tab, Authenticate, and then begin to download the latest plugin update. This may take up to five minutes, depending on how fast your internet connection is. When the download is complete, the plugin should rescan into your DAW and open without any errors, as shown here. If you trigger error 3 when you open the plugin in your DAW, this means that the plugin cannot locate the library contents. To fix this, you should close your DAW, head over to the Spitfire Audio app, select the BBC Symphony Orchestra artwork, navigate to one of the cogs in the menu, select Locate, and make sure that the location is correct depending on where you've installed the BBC Symphony Orchestra library. You can change this by selecting on the box. When you're ready, select Locate and the app will indicate whether the library has successfully been relocated and should not now show any red errors. If you've not yet optimised the BBC Symphony Orchestra library and the option is available, 
we recommend that you carry out the optimization process to speed up your load times. We recommend doing this overnight as it can take some time. Once you've begun the optimization process, you should see a progress bar appear below. You can stop the optimization process at any time by quitting out the app. If you go back into the optimization, it will then start again where it left off. If you have any issues updating BBC Symphony Orchestra or you have any questions about the update, please contact us at spitfireaudio.com forward slash support. Thanks for watching Spitfire Clips. Let us know if it was too long, too short, too fast or too slow in the comments down below. Hit like if we answered your question and subscribe for more clips, tips, tricks and exclusive Spitfire content.